I'm Hannah Baloli, and this is the HVAC Minute. One of the most divisive topics in the HVAC industry is red tagging a gas furnace, especially when you're providing the second opinion when another contractor is already red tagged and shut that furnace down. David Richardson, Vice President of Training for National Comfort Institute, says as harsh as this may sound, the first thing you should do is doubt the first opinion. Don't assume the original diagnosis is correct because it's probably not. What was the original contractor's motive for issuing the red tag? Is there a legitimate safety issue or was the red tag just an opportunity to sell a furnace? Even if that's not the case, many contractors who red tag furnaces don't have the proper training or test instruments to back up their claims. Instead, they base their decisions on equipment age, opinions, guesses, and assumptions. Richard Sid said, use the right tools and take the measurements to back up your diagnosis. Remember, he said, unless you measure and diagnose, you won't know what caused the original problem that led to the red tag. Heat exchangers fail for a reason. Unless you identify that reason, the replacement will probably also fail. Measurements are also a must if you decide to turn a red tagged furnace back on because they prove safety in a way that a visual inspection just can't. Don't leave your customer's safety up to assumptions and opinions, Richardson said. Even if the heat exchanger is intact, the flames are blue, and there are no gas leaks, it doesn't necessarily mean everything is fine.